you ever think that trading's a game? Yeah, I, I think to a certain extent. It's funny, I was watching a programme um, a few weeks ago about air traffic controllers, and I was thinking, you know, if and they asked the question to the air traffic controller was, can you imagine how many millions of lives are on your screen? And you looked at how many planes were so condensed into a small space, how does the one not hit the other one? And then I think to a certain extent, you know, thinking about my own business, thinking, well, how much money I've actually got at risk and is trading, you know, in any one day. Um, so it is to a certain extent a little bit of a game because imagine if you saw the amount of cash in real notes, I think you'd think differently. Um, but because it's just numbers on a screen, um, it's slightly different. But yeah, there is certainly a game to it. Do you think all the graphs and all the trading platforms are designed to get you to trade more? Definitely. If you think about how much money has been invested, especially into mobile apps, um, again, turning it into a little bit more of a game, the bells and whistles, the green and the red and all the rest of it. Because um, you remember, most brokers, they want you to trade as much as possible. That's how they make their money. Um, so the worst traders uh, or investors are people that maybe buy something now, hold it for months because that's not really their bread and butter business. And in fact, that's what I am, I'm more of a longer term um, holder. Um, but yeah, they, they like people that keep trading in and out. What's your opinion on trading platforms and technology these days? Um, it's got good, it's got better and better. Um, I still like the basic ones, like for instance on Schwab, um, they have something called Market Edge, which is all the bells and whistles. I don't use that one. I use the really, really basic one, especially because a lot of times I'm away, the internet connection might be not great. And these days, all right, the internet's fairly good, but in the early days when I was living in Spain, I was on dial-up internet. Um, if it rained and um, the internet wouldn't work, the phone line wouldn't work, in many cases, the electricity would go off in a storm. So I could never be the sort of person that had to trade every like minute or so. Um, but yeah, platforms, they're good, but I think be careful because you can just get stuck on them, you overuse them, you're always looking for the you know announcement, there's always something coming out. Same again if you watch things like business channels as well, breaking news, they've got to fill space. You can't switch on the channel and say, oh, not, not much is happening today. What about mobile trading platforms? How realistic is it to be able to trade on the move? You can do it. Um, I tend to find you know, I've downloaded a few of these apps in the past, some of them I've got rid of them. Um, they're not bad for checking prices, just getting an idea. But on the whole, I don't like the idea of actually trading on the move. I think people make bad decisions. They make um, decisions very much on the spur of the moment. And I still like the idea of on a laptop or even, okay, an iPad, but somewhere where you're sitting down and you're clear rather than doing something emotionally, because to me that sounds a little bit more like a game.